Hi, everybody. I hope you're all well and happy and that the weather is favorable to you. It is freezing around here. Anyway, I think my last video was perhaps a little unprofessional because I allowed emotion to play a role instead of just reporting on what I saw. But I'm certainly not taking anything back of what I said because there is nothing in that video which is a lie. It is all true. I see even Mary Tillman, Pat Tillman's mother, is upset about Harry being nominated for the award, and quite rightly so. Her son was a true hero who left a lucrative career to go fight for his country after 9-11. And there are still young, healthy men and women risking their lives for our countries and who will continue to do so for years to come. Pat Tillman did not make it back to his family, and he is one of many who didn't make it back to his family. But Pat Tillman was, and still is, the icon, the poster boy, so to speak, of the many who risked and lost their lives for their country and to protect their families. Who knows what an honourable guy like Pat Tillman would have gone on to do had he been one of the fortunate ones to return. But because he didn't, he will forever remain a hero, forever be a young man in our eyes and in the hearts of his family. And that, I think, is what an award like the Tillman Award should portray and stand for, for excellence, for going above and beyond, for heroism for loyalty and love and for service. Is Harry Windsor such a person? Let's look. Harry abandoned the military in his own country, handed back the most prestigious honorary military title inherited from his grandfather, forgot all about the Pledge of Allegiance he swore to his grandmother and country. He slandered his family, who also happens to be the royal family, of which his own father is the king and head of state of several countries. Harry also slandered his own country and its people, sued his father's government, and just likely may have committed a crime by tampering with evidence in a case which he brought he also called the American Constitution bonkers and by his own admission is a drug addict. I mean, please, if there is one ounce of sense left in this world, please don't allow this man to walk up there and receive this award. Your sons and daughters did not have burkas protecting them. He was never a pilot except for a few practice flights over friendly territory. He could not ace that, so he remained a gunner or co-pilot. The man is a fraud, and it makes me sick to know that there are so many deserving men and women to whom this award would mean so, so much, who really deserve it out there. Yet they choose a cardboard cutout of a soldier, an actor, a fraud, to receive the award. Why? Likely because he will be drawing some attention to the awards. But I think that is a very cheap, dirty sellout. If you are looking for a famous face, you will find that a number of American celebrities served in the military. Names like Chuck Norris, Clint Eastwood, Adam Driver. I mean, goodness, there are currently something like 80 veterans in the House and 17 in the Senate, men and women who are still serving the country one way or the other. Yet a person like Harry is chosen over and above all these people. It does not make one ounce of sense. 
it diminishes every hope we have of respecting such awards and in a fair world and fair society. So I do not blame Pat Tillman's mother for speaking out. I understand how she feels. And I sincerely hope she gets all the support she deserves. Now, okay, guys, I know this is a very, very short video, but I will be back shortly. Today is a bit of a difficult day. <laughs> Don't want to go into it, but I will be back soon. Um, and hopefully, if not later today, then we hope that tomorrow will be a normal, peaceful day and we can carry on chatting like we always do. So please, guys, take care, everybody. And remember, I love you. Bye.